Well, this is Meredith. Today I have the September 2022 spoilers for the Allure Beauty Box for you. Sorry that they are going up a little bit late. I was on vacation with no access to the internet. I am back on solid ground now, so I'm able to share with you the spoilers. Um, if you are not yet a member, I do have a link below. It'll get you $10 off your first box. It's just a personal referral link. I do think I get a small commission or a referral um, gift for referring you, but it is there to just save you a little bit of money. Um, I also wanted to let you know that my particular box is already shipped for this month. Um, so it does look like with the new revamp of their website, they are billing and shipping in a very, very quick fashion. Um, I think I got the notice a couple of days ago when I got off of the ship. I just came back from a cruise to Alaska. It was very, very good. Highly recommend. Um, I'll be having the videos and the vlogs coming up in the near future, hopefully. Um, I will be doing a little bit more of the travel vlogs versus the daily vlogs um, just to catch up. Anyway. Enough with that. I'm going to just start with the spoilers now. Um, so I just wanted to call your attention to this if you are not yet a member. Um, if you join through Allure Beauty Box and not through Amazon, you will be getting a free full-size mascara from the Milk Makeup group here. Um, you can use the code MILK according to the website. Um, also, the first box is going to be $16. Again, I do have a $10 off coupon or referral link below. And if you are not yet a Rakuten member or you are a Rakuten member, you can also get $5 cash back with your first order. If you're not yet a Rakuten member, I have a referral link down below for that. And I think they're running a special as well for some additional cash back for this back to school season. Um, so let me just jump forward. Okay, so um, I have done some research and I pulled up all of the items in this spoiler for you. And I'll go through them in a little bit, um, telling you the ingredients, the reviews, anything I was able to find. Um, I don't think I make this announcement very often, but um, the first time I read through these is with you. So if I am questioning anything, it's because it's just like something that comes straight to my mind as I'm reading quickly. Um, so let me scroll down here. So again, the new member gift, I'll introduce you at the end to it um, because it is only for new members, but it's going to be the Milk Makeup Rise Lifting and Lengthening Mascara, and this will be a full-size product. The next item is La Fleur. Um, it's from French Coral, um, and it's a botanical serum, a full-size item. Um, so that looks very... I don't know. I have some questions about it, so I'm going to um, go through the ingredients more, but it looks like it is going to be like an oil sort of product. The next item is from Laneige. It's the Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. I think I have tried this before. Um, I'll show you why I think that in a little bit when I pulled up the info on Sephora. I think I have tried this because it has a very unique um, packaging. The next item is from Voir. It's a walk in the sun inside out moisturizing and repairing mask, and this is a full size product. Um, so I haven't actually tried that many Voir products. I haven't also seen it in the web, in the, on the website, in the stores, um, but I have received a couple of their products in another subscription box. I think it was Fat with Fun, but it might have been a all true slash cause box. Also, let me know below if you want me to go through the cause box all true new spoilers because I do think they are starting off with some new items for the fall season and I just want to provide you the information. I'm not going to make commentary about their business decisions. I'm just wanted to provide you the info so let me know if that would be helpful. Okay, so scrolling on down, sorry, I'm all over the place today. So this next item is a commodity from commodity, I think the brand name is, and it's um, milk and it says it's the expressive fragrance. Um, so I think milk expressive might be the scent, um, just from context clues, but I'm not sure. I haven't heard of this brand, um, so let me know if you are um, somebody who's tried it before or has heard of it. Um, I do think it's interesting that we're getting a fragrance. Um, we haven't gotten one in the box, except for like some marketing materials in the past. Um, so in a very long time, I think. I've been a member for about two years, and I don't think I've received a fragrance as a non-marketing material. The next item is from the Body Shop. It's the Drops of Youth Liquid Peel. So this looks like it's going to be um, a facial peel, like a very gentle ex chemical exfoliator. The next item is from Milk. It's going to be their famous Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This looks like it's going to be a sample size, so it might be good for vacation or something like that if you're traveling. The next item is the Rael Beauty Miracle Patch Invisible Spot Cover. Um, so this looks like a pimple patch. I mean, honestly, I don't usually need pimple patches, but I got a pimple that will not go away <laughs> like day two of my cruise. So it's still there. 
Um, so that would have been nice to have. I didn't pack any with me and that was uh, my bad. Um, the final item here is going to be one of those marketing products. So it's from Subble. Um, it's a body scrub with patchouli, lavender, and vanilla scent. So personally, not my favorite, um, but that's a personal thing. Those are three of my least favorite scents. And this is going to be a Dead Sea Salt body scrub. Okay, so those are the items. I'm going to pull up the reviews and everything for you now. So um, this first one here is La Flor Botanical Serum. I could only find it on the, on the original um, website. It says frenchgirlorganics.com. You can find it there if you're interested. Um, so it says it's a restorative plant-based serum of 20 non-comedogenic no, non organic oils. Um, conditions, nourishes, hydrates, and renews facial skin, rich in omega-3 fatty acids, vitamins, antioxidants, quick absorbing, luxurious formula delivers an instant infusion of moisture and radiance for healthy looking glowing skin. Um, so it has a lot of oils in here. So I'm seeing argan, jojoba, olive, cranberry, primrose, chia, and tamanu. Tamanu? Tamanu? I don't know how to pronounce it. They all sounded somewhat similar, I'm sure. Um, it has um, also rosehip, sea buckthorn, and pomegranate oils. So it sounds like it's going to be very um, potentially something that might make people's skin sensitive. So mine, I think, might be a little bit sensitive. So luckily for me, I don't see any coconut oil, but we'll continue looking down. It's a silicone-free, plant-based powerhouse ingredients. Oh, and here it says... Never include petroleum-derived silicones, acrylates, or highly refined fractionated coconut oils. So maybe it might be good for me. It says it's for uneven skin tone, dry, fine lines, irritated dullness. Um, so I'm wondering if this will be like somewhat similar to the one that I really liked from All True, actually. Um, the Way of Will one. That one was really nice for me, for my body, not for my face. But um, it was really good and hydrating. Um, so it looks like this is a $72 value total. And that's a picture um, close to a cat, so you can see for size, I guess. Um, but it says, boosts elasticity, restores, calms, and nourishes. After cleansing and toning, apply three to four drops to fingertips, rub together, gently press onto face, neck, and decollete. 1 ounce or 30 mls, and this is the long list of ingredients. Wow. Okay, so it's apart from the, or in addition to rather, the oils, there are a bunch of different extracts and things in here. Um, a lot of different oils too, like so many oils. <laughs> um, there's some also some um, essential oils in here um, for you as well. So I'm guessing it's probably going to be pretty scented, um, but again, let me know if you've tried this before. Um, also, let me know if Allure has sent out your products already, because um, I think, again, I got my um, email a couple days ago. Um, so this is why I think I've had the Laneige before, because I remember this sort of um, shaped container. Um, so the full size is going to be $40, and we did not get the full size. Um, so let me click on the mini size, because I'm wondering if this is maybe what we got instead. No, it's not looking. Okay, so um, what we're getting is a squeeze tube. So my guess is it's going to be slightly smaller than the 0 0.67 ounces, so maybe like 10 mils. Um, that's just my gut. I don't know. But I did like this cream. It's very um, light, I would say. It's like very, I don't know necessarily texture-wise. It's been a while since I tried it. Um, but it's kind of like a very, I don't know, creamy cream. <laughs> So useless. Okay, so let me keep going down. Sorry. Um, so it's hyaluronic acid, hyperallergenic, hydrating, best for oily, combo, normal skin, good for dryness. Um, lush cream that visibly firms, strengthens skin's moisture barrier, delivers replenishing, long-lasting hydration for up to 100 hours. Blue hyaluronic acid, squalane, and ceramide, free of parabens, formaldehydes, formaldehyde-releasing agents, phthalates, mineral oil, retinol palmitate, oxybenzone, coal tar, hydroquinone, sulfates, SLS, SLES, triclocarbon, tri tri triclosin, and contains less than 1% synthetic fragrance. Okay, let me scroll on down to the ingredients. This is the important part. Um, so these are the ingredients here. I'm not seeing any added fragrance. Oh, just kidding. Right here in the middle. So there is going to be added fragrance in here. I did recall it having like a slight kind of like powdery scent, but that might just be my brain. Um, so let me know if you've tried it more recently and you can recall if it had a very specific scent or not. Sorry about my phone. Um, so it says apply evenly to your face in the morning and evening after cleansing, toning, and using serum. Looking for the reviews here. Okay, 596 reviews, a 4.1 star rating. 
Um, and this is the breakdown. So it looks pretty much like what I would assume. Um, I have some opinions about probably why the one star is. Luckily here, the one stars are here. Um, they're the most recent ones. So that's the way that um, Sephora will um, sort the ratings is by the most recent first. Um, so zero star, and unfortunately I have loved the old version of this. I still have a partial jar left, but wanted to compare the two. This one misses the mark is make my face sting. Oh no. <laughs> this one's bad. I have acne prone and sensitive skin and I can tell absolutely this is a no for me. Now I need to find a new moisturizer. Um, let's see. Person says that they broke out too. Um, so it looks like a lot of these people don't like the new formula. So I'm curious to know if we're going to get the new formula or the old formula in the allure box. Um, I have some gut reactions to which one I think it will be, um, but I'll keep those to myself. Um, so I think that maybe, yeah, I think that maybe some of the people don't like the new one and then some of these people may be reviewing the newer one. It's hard to tell. Um, I love this moisturizer, leave your skin soft. I'm going to read this one. It's a little bit longer. As someone with dry skin, I seek products with extra hydration, especially my moisturizers. Unfortunately, they're usually a thicker consistency or just don't hydrate my skin like I need it to. But this product right here not only leaves my skin super duper moisturized, but it's also the perfect consistency that isn't too heavy. It absorbs perfectly into my skin. It's probably one of my favorite moisturizers of all time. Um, so that's the review there. I'm going to move on to the next product, not to spend too much time. So this is from Ulta. So this is the Voir hair care product. It's a walk in the sun, inside out moisturizing and repairing mask. Um, so I guess like the reason why I've never seen it in person is that this one is an online only item. $26 value for the full size, which is what we will be getting in the box. Um, it looks like it only has five reviews. So maybe this is a somewhat new product. So let me know below. Um, so this is a conscious beauty at Ulta Beauty. So it is clean ingredients, cruelty free, sustainable packaging. Um, it's formulated with five marine seaweeds, complex, and vegan keratin. Highly concentrated reparative mask instantly fortifies and rebuilds damaged hair fibers and split ends. It's gluten-free if you're interested in that. After cleansing, remove excess water from hair and massage from mid-length to ends. Leave it for 35 minutes and rinse. For deep repair, let it set for uh, 15 to 20 minutes before rinsing. Repeat once or twice per week in place of conditioner. So this is the added, or the ingredients rather, there is added fragrance, um, pretty common in my opinion for hair care products. It does have a lot of oils in here and I'm seeing my nemesis, the coconut oil, um, but maybe I'll try it out with my hair. I don't know, my hair is getting way too long so I need to do something about it. Uh, let me scroll down. So this is the other one I've tried before and this one I think it must have been from Fat Fat Fun. Um, I do like it actually, so um, I have one of those. Actually, I think I have two of those. Um, there is only one written review on the Ulta Beauty website right now. So it says, I love the scent of the hair mask. It smells very pleasant. Hair mask makes my hair very smooth, and at the same time, I feel my hair becomes stronger and strengthened. I would recommend product to anyone who has dry and damaged hair. Uh, so that's the only review I was able to find for you um, on Ulta. So I'd like to go to um, some of the more... Um, third party not third party like you know like a brand website rather than the official brand website like sephora target alta those sort of websites i'd like to find um just because i feel like the reviews are a little bit more or less they're a little bit less uh i can't think of words today deleted <laughs> in terms of that oh wow yeah as i'm saying that this reviews are kind of rough here um so this is from commodity it's the milk expressive travel spray um, so I'm just guessing that maybe we'll get the small size because it is not the full size. Um, so based on this flat lay here, I'm not sure I'm going to like the smell. It looks like it's supposed to smell like marshmallows. Okay, so let's see. It says the commodity milk expressive is starting point is perfect, perfectly balanced and unique. $25 value for this small travel spray, but again, I don't know what size it's going to be. Vegan, cruelty-free, unisex, genderless scent, and clean at Sephora. Um, fragrance is warm and spicy, warm and sweet gourmands, cold milk, ew, I'm sorry, <laughs> mahogany wood and tonka bean, this is not going to be for me. Um, seeking comfort in the familiar, creamy and calming scent offers the perfect start to the day. Cold milk adds a cooling element to an otherwise rich and warm fragrance of marshmallow, mahogany wood, and tonka bean. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I hope I'm not being too harsh. Obviously, it has fragrance in it, and then it also has alcohol as the top um, ingredient. 
Um, so just use it like you would normally use a fragrance. So again, only six reviews on this and they're not good. Um, 1.7 stars. Um, definitely try before you buy. This fragrance is okay. It's not my fav favorite, but not terrible at all. I can see how the hype online can create disappointment when you actually get your hands on it. While it smells like creamy, sweet marshmallows initially, the wood note comes out fairly strong. After the dry down, it smells like a marshmallow that has been roasted over a dark wood. I still smell the sweetness on the marshmallow, but it is definitely sharing the stage with a woody bitterness. I don't mind it, but I wouldn't buy a full bottle. That seems like a pretty good review. <laughs> This one seems funny. I'm going to just read it. Sorry. It's A. It smells like an alcohol wipe got sprayed with a Bath and Body Works body mist a hundred times when you first spray it. There's a strong alcohol scent and thought it would go away after an hour, but didn't. The scent behind the alcohol scent isn't bad, but just not my favorite on my skin, but it didn't. Uh, I think something was misplaced. Okay. So anyway, yeah, not sure if I'm going to like that, but that's just a personal preference. Those are not my favorite scents. Um, so I got this one from Amazon because it did seem to have a lot of reviews. So this is from Body Shop. It's the Drops of Youth Liquid Peel. This is going to be not the full size. Um, so the full size, I don't have a price in here. Hmm. Anyway. Um, it says Liquid Youth Liquid Peel. Drops of Youth Liquid Peel exfoliates and gently peels off impurities from your skin, lifting dead skin cells and residuals. Infused with a blend of three plant stem cells, revolutionary gel to peel leaves skin clean and purified but from the day's pollutants. Continued use will leave a fresh, smoother, and more luminous, youthful looking skin, 100% vegan. It has Edelweiss, Sea Holly, and Creased Marine. So this one, let's see. It said that already. Um, apply two pumps of the Drops of Youth liquid peel onto a dry face and massage the product for up to 20 seconds until residual builds up. Oh, okay, so this is going to be like one of my favorite types of products. And then use a dampened cotton pad to remove all traces of pollutants and dyed skin left behind. Um, I really do like those sort of peeling um, products. So Crease Marine, Sea Holly, and Edelweiss. Let me keep scrolling down. Okay, paraben-free, gluten-free, silicone-free, 100% vegan. So let me scroll down. It does have fragrance in here about halfway down the list. So it does look like people are pretty happy with it. So 4.6 stars out of 5 with 1,272 reviews. Um, so let me go through the most recent. Um, okay, so this is the top two. Seem, I mean, this one for sure seems to be a review of the Amazon product. Uh, so people either say that they really love it or else they see no difference. So that's the reviews here. Um, but let me know below if you tried it. Um, that's one of the mistakes or the problems that I have with going through Amazon is sometimes the sellers aren't real. Um, so this one is Milk Makeup and it's a Hydro Grip Hydrating Makeup Primer. Um, full size is a $36 value. So the small size we're going to get maybe will be this one, which is $18 value, but I'm not sure. So I know a lot of people really like this product, and I heard that um, maybe the e.l.f. is going to be a dupe for it, but I don't know. I don't really use um, primers that much. It's vegan, community favorite, radiant finish, hydrating, Allure 2020 Best of Beauty Award winner, and it's clean at Sephora. It's an award-winning invisible makeup primer with a 94% natural gel formula, smooths skin, grips makeup for up to 12 hours, and locks in hydration. Um, and it has blue agave extract, hyaluronic acid, and hemp-derived cannabis seed extract, and niacinamide, vitamin B3, and aloe water. Vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. These are the ingredients here. Um, so it does have a lot of extracts in there, so definitely take a closer look if you're sensitive to anything. Um, and no added fragrance. I don't see any added fragrance. Pump one to two layers, or two layers, one to two shots of primer. Okay, scrolling down to reviews. Okay, 4.1 stars with 5,136 reviews. Um, so again, breakdown is pretty much what you would expect. 
Um, so it says, feels nice and refreshing when applying and makes my foundation apply like butter. Nothing more I can ask for. Or um, for some reason, it makes my foundation stick to my pores. Oh, that's not good. Not in a pore filling primary way, but just look like you could see my pores from a distance because they were tiny dots of foundation. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I had to start my makeup over again, um, unfortunately. Yeah, so a lot of people don't like it. It says that they pilled, things like that. Other people think that's really great and that's a holy grail. So let me know below if you've tried it. I'm going to move on to the next one. Um, so the reason why I wanted to show you this is because if you do like this product, it's on sale on their website right now. Um, I checked the reviews, and um, the number of reviews were about the same on both um, Target and on Rayal. So it says for surface acne and whiteheads, um, 48 count. I'm not sure how many count is going to be in the one that we're going to receive from Allure. Um, it says absorb a, it'll apply an invisible spot cover to your blemish and let the hydrocolloid absorb pus and oil while protecting your skin against dirt so it can heal and flatten. Um, let's see. So again, pretty good price, I would say. I haven't tried this particular brand, so let me know if you've tried it. So it has the hydrocolloid technology, it has a clear matte finish and tapered edge, seamlessly blends in with all skin tones for invisible coverage and smooths breakout any time of day, 10 millimeter and 12 millimeter sizes for targeted treatment of individual blemishes. So they have various different stages of um, the patches. So it looks like some of them are big, so if you have like um, bigger areas here, like they're showing one on the chin, for example, can't really see what that one is. It looks like on the smile lines, and this one's on the chest. So 4.2 star rating with 100, no, 771 reviews. Um, 218 out of the 276 reviewers recommend this product. Um, so this is the breakdown. So again, pretty similar to what you'd expect. I'm going to rate by the most recent. So this person says, uh, they like it. Looking for a negative. <laughs> Hold on, let me find a negative one. Just so that we can see the full range. Not worth it for me, did not work at all. Exactly the opposite of what you want to happen. Um, did not reduce invisibility of my zits, but somehow made them bigger. Oh, that's bad. Doesn't work. Okay. So, I mean, hit and miss, apparently, for this product. So, let me move on to the next item. Um, so, again, this is from Savon. So, we're going to get it as a small um, marketing sample. So, this is the body scrub. So, original full size is $36. Right now, it's on sale. Um, so, it says, revive your senses and revitalize your skin with patchouli, lavender, vanilla, dead sea body scrub. Captured the healing properties of the dead sea in our signature body scrub, providing a natural way to feel and look amazing. Helps conceal stretch marks, cellulite, removes dead skin cells, stimulates circulation, leaves skin fragrant and silky smooth. So, it has uh, patchouli, lavender, vanilla, dead sea uh, salt, I'm guessing, rich nutrients, powerful formula containing vitamin E, almond, jojoba, and borage oils, um, dead sea minerals, sulfate-free, paraben-free, and these are the ingredients here. So for me, not going to be able to use it because of that salt, sweet almond oil. Um, also, the fragrance is like third on the list, so it's probably going to be pretty fragrant in my opinion. Um, but I, I don't know. I haven't tried the product. I also don't have any reviews for you, so leave a comment below if you've tried it. Finally, this is the new member gift. So this one is from Sephora, um, and this one is the brand is Milk Makeup. It's the Rise Lifting and Lengthening Mascara. Um, so um, it will be the full-size product, so that'll be the $28 value. So again, this is only for new members who join through the Allure Beauty Box website. Um, and do it this month. Um, so it's vegan, curling, clean of Sephora, cruelty-free lengthening. Apply the uh, one to two coats. Mimits the look of a lash lift and ties any no makeup look, makeup look together. These are the ingredients here. So a lot of different things in here. Um, a lot of oils, oddly. So I'm kind of curious to like to whether or not it will stay on my eyelashes. Um, I'm not going to get it because I'm not a new member, but I'm just curious. Um, so leave a comment below if you've tried it. Okay, that's mascara usage. So let me scroll down. 
4.2 stars with 854 reviews. So the breakdown looks about what you would expect. So a lot of people really don't like this. I was going to say the only milk makeup um, mascara that I've tried is the one in the blue tube and it was terrible for me. Um, but yeah, this one says not for everyone. I've been using this product for a few weeks and it's a pass. Dry formula gets drier with more uses, becomes clumpy, which is not, which is a look I do not like. Um, worst mascara I've ever used. So this person here says fluffy results. I really like how this mascara makes my eyelashes look. Brush makes them look fluffy and full. I do think the product is thick but works really well. I also love the um, packaging of the product is very different from other mascaras. Smell isn't the best but it's a mascara so it doesn't matter. Um, I'm curious now what the smell is. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Let, leave a comment below what you think. Um, so that is going to be the box for this month. So it looks like um, there are quite a few products here. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've also received your products already because again, the shipping was really fast this month. Um, I will be hopefully doing a couple of really quick videos before I'm traveling again next week or at the end of this week actually. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get my boxy charms up for you next Monday. So thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.